Well done, class. You have installed Arc. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with the basics. Our goal in this section of the course is for you to gain a solid understanding of Arc's core features and be able to confidently customize Arc to you and your needs. You've probably seen Arc's tutorials. They're right here and they're pretty solid, but we're going to do a deep dive today in our own style. There's a lot to cover, so let's boogie. When you first open Arc, you're going to see a screen similar to this. Instead of a top bar, there's a sidebar, which you can toggle using Command S. Pretty much everything you see in the sidebar is going to be a tab. Pretty simple. To open a new tab, you hit Command T. This brings up the URL bar. We'll go to a random website here and it opens in what is called today's tabs. It's this section right here below the line. You can think of these tabs the same way you think of the tabs you open throughout the day at the top of most web browsers. Except with Arc, these tabs are set to archive and disappear after 12 hours. This is advanced anti-tab hoarding at its finest right here. You can change this in the preferences, but I kept it because honestly, I never go back to tabs, even though I think I will. There's also your favorite tabs, which appear here. Tabs that are favorited will appear anywhere you are in Arc and not disappear after a certain amount of time. You could think of them like pin tabs in other browsers. And lastly, there is the pin tabs, which are in this section in between the two. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. These tabs, like favorites, also do not disappear, but they are not always visible. Instead, they're tied to the space that you are in in Arc. Wait, space? What's a space? Well, I'm glad you asked. Spaces are one of the things that make Arc unique. They don't have an exact parallel in other browsers, but luckily they're easy to understand. We all have different areas of our life, personal, work, hobbies, etc. For each different area in our life, we typically go to different websites and spaces allow us to separate our tabs based on these areas so they don't get all muddled together like in most browsers. If we go down here to the plus sign, we can click new space. And as we can see, this is space number two. Over here is space number one. And when I switch the pin tabs and the today's tabs disappear. Let's go ahead and give this a name. I've always wanted to get into gardening, so let's go ahead and name it gardening. And we can also change the theme and icon of this space. I'll go ahead and choose this nice green, but I'm probably gonna like dim it down a little bit, give it a little bit of texture, and boom, we're good to go. Not the prettiest, but it'll do. We've created our first space. Let's hit Command T again and head on over to our favorite gardening website. Wonderful resource. I garden, I swear. As you can see here, it is in the today's tab section. You can tell because it's below this line. Since we're going to reference this site often when we are in gardening mode in our life or the gardening space in Arc, we're going to want to pin it. In order to do that, all I have to do is click it and drag it above this line and now it will not disappear. And as you can see, the pinned tabs are separated across each space. You can also make folders inside the pinned section. Just go down here to the plus sign, hit new folder, and we'll name this stores. Let's go ahead and drag Lowe's and Home Depot inside of the stores folder, my two favorite stores of all time. And there you have it, we have folders. You can also do folders within folders. And if you hover over a folder, you're able to quickly search for it. But I have two things in here, so not much point in doing that. And the last major menu I wanna show you is the library. Hover over this icon here and we have access to the media that is in the library. This actually is not just the downloads folder. It's actually a variety of folders that you can select on and off that Arc will have access to. I'll go ahead and click this icon and we actually get a lot of different menus. We have media, which is all of those folders you just saw combined. If I right click any of these, I have a variety of sharing options. We have the downloads folder, pretty straightforward, but you can filter and search. We have easels and notes, which we will cover in a later video. And we have spaces and you can basically customize spaces here. You can change the name, you can change the theme, the icon, move them around, etc. We have boost, which we will get into later. And finally, we have archive tabs. Super simple, we are well on our way. Now for my favorite part of Arc, this bad boy, because this is not a typical URL bar. In fact, if you hit tab without typing anything, you get a list of actions you can actually perform within this search bar. If you want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can of course reference that here. And one particularly useful action I'd like to call out is the ability to move tabs across spaces. So right now I'm in space one, but I meant to put this in the gardening section, specifically within that folder we created. One way to do that is by typing the name of the folder in the search tab and you'll have the option here to pin to gardening slash stores. I highly suggest just checking these out and practicing a few that you think will be most useful. Just play around. You cannot go wrong. And it's good to build muscle memory for a lot of these actions because I use a lot of them very often. And drum roll please because we are done with the basics. That's basically it. It's a very simple but powerful program. Homework assignment. Definitely check out some of those commands and practice that. Hope to see you in the next video. It's
it's actually my personal favorite because I'm going to show you how to navigate ARC very, very quickly. Much love, gratitude, see you there.